Welcome back to Varnum's Auto. <clears throat> Here today we got us a two thousand and fourteen Kia Forte, whatever you call it. It's a one point eight four cylinder. <clears throat> Customer is complaining about the passenger wheel bearing making a roaring noise. So, what we're going to do today, we're going to disassemble everything. We're going to take a brake caliber bracket off we're going to take the CV axle nut off we're going to take the brake line bracket off take the ABS bracket off and also take the ABS sensor out so we don't harm it in any kind of way so, let's get to it. <clears throat> We're going to start with taking the brake caliber off. That is a 14 millimeter. We're going to take our 38 drive impact. We got that busted loose. We got that busted loose. <coughs> and we're going to take the bolt completely off of it. We're going to slide the caliber off. We're going to set it up here for the time being. We're going to take our two bolts that we just took off. The brake caliber bracket and the caliber. And we're going to screw them back into the bracket of the brake caliber. All right. <clears throat> Next, 11 16th socket. We're going to get right up in here. We're going to take the bracket off. The brake caliber bracket, that is. That is a 11 16th. Got one off. And we got the second one taken off. And we just slide the whole brake shoe bracket off. Lay it down to the side. We're going to screw the brake caliber bracket bolt and washer back on the bracket so we know exactly where they are located. Lay that to the side. <clears throat> All right. Now we're going to take our zip ties. We took four zip ties. One, two, three four and we're going to stick through the hole of the brake caliber we 
we're going to pick the brake caliber up. We're just going to get it started right there for the time being. So up next, <clears throat> we're going to go back to our 3.8 drive impact. We're going to take the 14 millimeter off. We're going to use an extension with a wobble joint with a 12 millimeter. So we can get our brake hose bracket taken off. Get the bolt. Now we can take the brake caliber and the zip ties. I don't know if y'all able to see, but I hope y'all can. We're gonna zip it on up so it's pretty much out of the way. We're gonna take the brake line bracket bolt and screw it back in on the knuckle. here and see if I can't get y'all brought over this way now we're going to take the ABS sensor bracket here that's the actual line for that bracket we're going to take it off the 12 millimeter there she goes, she zipped that on off. And we're gonna take the bolt and wash it for that and screw it about halfway back on. <clears throat> and now, we're gonna take off the wobble and the 12 millimeter. We're going to pop a 10 millimeter on the extension. We're going to get up in here. We're going to take the bolt loose on the actual ABS sensor. That bolt and washers are smaller, so try not to lose that, drop it. So we're going to try to wiggle the sensor out, slightly turn, pull it out, there's your ABS sensor, we're going to tuck it away nice and neat back here. <coughs> so we got a quarter pin for or castle nut right here let's see no quarter pin pretty bent up We'll go ahead and break that quarter pin where it's bent up real bad because it's almost got like a crease in it where it got bent. If I can get it. It feels like it's starting to get easier. I'm sure of it. Now, come on, any time. There we go. We broke the bad one off. 
that we slide the rest of the quarter pin off. Yes, we will be replacing and putting a new quarter pin on. That's wrong size. All right, 16 millimeter for that castle nut. See if we can get it with the 3 8 drive. Nope, I don't think so. Let's see. That's too big. Maybe the 11 16 half inch will get it. All right, we got that broke loose. Well, it broke loose, and now I can't find the quarter. I'm at the castle nut. Huh? Ain't that some crazy ouch? Come on, little buddy. Where you go? You couldn't have gone too far. You could not have gone too far. All right, guys. Now we're going to take a 19 millimeter Matku or Henrich. We're going to take the board off of this here lower ball joint. Just give it a good palm punch. And just to start getting your bolt turned it off. Good day, boy. That motherfucker just got a hold of the motherfucker, son. Hang on just a second, guys. I think I'm going to see if I can't get me a, a ratchet wrench. And I'll be right back. All right. Family got us our ratchet wrench. See if we can't get something better going on. Get us a little bit of old school stuff to help.
reason why it's so hard to get this nut off because it does not have a quarter pin through it is because it is a locking nut Getting very close now. There we go. Keep that put up because you don't want to lose that. All right, guys, <clears throat> now we're gonna take a three pound short handle hammer and we're gonna strike where the tie rod is. I'm gonna turn the steering so I can get a better strike at it. All right, now being how I turned the steering wheel to the left all the way, we're able to take a good nice swing at it. Now she pops loose. Now we got free full access to go to the left and right with it. All right. <clears throat> we're going to swing this here out the way. We're gonna strike the lower lock, the lower ball joint, same way. There she goes. She popped loose. See, she got that pop loose. All right. <clears throat> And now, let's see. Got that there out the way. Pretty much all we got to do now is we got to take these two bolts and nuts out and then we're going to take the city axle nut off. Alright fellas, we're going to go ahead and, and get this. CV axle nut off. See how that's got a like a keyway slot in the axle. We got to pop this up because that helps lock it in place.
take a nice little thin flathead screwdriver just go in there and pop up on it tap the other end with the hammer get it drove down in there pretty good pull up on it go a little further pull up on it go a little further pull up on it and I do believe now we got it pulled up enough let y'all see the difference yeah it looks like it took pretty good enough to go ahead and back it off <clears throat> and our nut or the CV axle nut is going to take a 32 Okay, there we go. I'm going to take a 32 millimeter socket. And it is a half inch. So we're going to use our half inch impact. Got the nut off. Set that to the side. Switch your socket back out. <clears throat> and now I do believe it is time for us to take the nuts off. I don't know if y'all are able to see. I'm trying to position the best I can the way the camera lens is actually facing on my phone so we're going to take these two nuts off of these bolt studs and i think that is going to be a 13 16 a little too loose let's see three three quarter that's right and it is going to be a half inch with the impact. Zap them bastards off. And we'll take them and reverse the nuts we took off. We're going to take us a little ping pong hammer. We're going to tap on them to get these studs right loose through there. On each one. Go ahead and back the bolts back off. Now we got one off. Do a little bit of a wiggle wiggle, jerk it pull, push the shove, and the other bolt stuff is going to break free. There she goes. Now, we're going to take the three pound hammer, we're going to put our castle, well, or not our castle, but our CV axle nut back on. Give it a nice little tap a -roo. Let's 
see if that did anything. Guess we're going to keep tapping on it until we get it broke loose. There she goes. She's now broke loose, but not yet all the way. Sometimes these things come off very easily and sometimes they will give you a pain. Just looks like to me that it's very, very dry. Ain't got no kind of oil or grease into it. So, we got it out far enough anyways to where we could probably, I don't know, I might be wrong, we might not get it pried out. Oh, there we go. Let it fall. There we go. Alright, guys. <clears throat> And best of my knowledge, I think that's some wheel bearings that's trying to go bad on us. And I believe that might be the culprit of one. Pretty much, but we're going to have to do, we're going to take the rotor off, the brake rotary. And we're going to have to take this here snap ring off and we could press the bearing out of the knuckle and pretty much press the new one in with the new race maybe all right guys i'm sorry i forgot to start recording already got the spindle out with this tool now we got bearings exposed that's old. You can look in there and tell that they are dried. Wouldn't be surprised that, yep, yeah, there, I don't know if y'all can see that, but that's, that's actually steel. That's, that's steel flake right there from them barbarians. Flip it over. Still had a little bit of factory grease right there. But on the inner on the inner side, it's trashed up pretty bad. Pretty much what we're going to do. We're going to see if we can't get something going on here. I don't know how much y'all are going to be able to see. But I literally forgot to start recording. Taking the spindle out.
I'm gonna let me a, a Marlboro, well, a Marlboro. And then we're just gonna whack on this set sucker here, see if we can't get it punched out. like we're doing some movement. Well, there goes one set of bands. Hell, both of them popped out. Yes, sir. Them bearings were trash. <coughs> it was the backside bearings that were trash. The inner bearings were still good. Wow, that's crazy. There's the other piece of the bearing. 